you've been growing salad? It's about eight years, Bill. It uh, started off as a as a, a bit of a mechanical interest. A friend was was asked if he was able to get the seed out of the out of the seed pod, and I've been able to develop a uh, commercially viable machine to do that. It grows two to three years, um, so you've got a, a plant that's already established a rosette. In March, it just starts to grow, and if there's any rainfall at that period, it just um, encourages it to, to keep going. So if you've got the ability of irrigation or or in an area that gets that early rain, it will just go from there. You've already you don't have to wait for the plant to start from the seed. Its development is firstly foremost in in root development. So the top growth is uh, is a bit slow as an early plant, but it puts the roots down so it is fairly good security in, uh, in if there's a bit of a dry patch they seem to hang on mm. through that quite well. Around the world mostly it's grown as a as a fodder crop so making <laughs> being able to make hay out of it. What I've seen growing around the place it would have one of the best conversions of, of rainfall into, into vegetative growth. We're only just this year really got enough area to, to actually really do a proper hay test but the um, 10 ton a hectare is supposed to be fairly easy for mm. for solar to produce um, up to maybe maybe 20 ton has, has been in trials. It's a huge yield and the value but, of the and the quality of the hay? And the quality is, ex is excellent um, legume hay so um, all those the MEs and and uh, all that that you're after as a as a legume yeah. plant all, all seem to be there. But weaned lambs will just um, need hardly any introduction and just clean it up the whole lot. In terms of palatability for stock throughout the season if you were to graze it, are there any issues there? Unlike most legumes, bloating's not a problem with sulla. Mm -hmm. um, it's got condensed tannins in the leaves that apparently are, uh, are supposed to help with the bloating problem with, with cattle. Um, also um, has reported in New Zealand and, uh, and Europe that the, these tannins also help with the gut lining of the sheep or cattle and most growers that have that have had live, had uh, sheep or cattle on there it's just um, with sheep no scouring. A uh, guy um, around Keith, um, what did he do this year, put uh, um, 300 lambs on 15 hectares for six weeks and was getting 480 grams a, a, a day production out of the lambs, mm. just weaners straight mm. into, the, wow. into the paddock. If you really graze it very hard, it, does, it comes back from the crown mm. rather than from the leaves. So if you go that far, you might as well really get stuck into it mm. and take it right back down to the crown. Um, and the, the, um, the plant will come back from the rosette. This has been cut for hay about three weeks ago. It's generally how it would regenerate in a um, heavily grazed stock situation. If I was a livestock producer I'd be looking at uh, planting some of this to provide a bit of early and fill that feed gap early. Um, clearly it's early biomass production in that second and third year are, is sensational so that's providing a, a great opportunity for a livestock producer and for a continuous cropper you know, clearly hay is an option.